Iowa caucuses are only six weeks away, and GOP candidates are gearing up for the final stretch by doing some campaigning in the Quad Cities area, one of them being Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who made a campaign, campaign stop today in Eldridge. TV6's Kyle Bales was at the event and joins us now to share what the governor had to say to potential voters. Thank you, Brianna. Now, several candidates are still campaigning for the Republican nomination as we enter Iowa caucus season, but only one has been endorsed by Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds. But will it be enough? Inside a packed coffee shop today, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis made his case to voters. Iowa has an opportunity uh, to send this country on a fundamentally different path. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis returned to Scott County on Sunday, trailing former President Donald Trump by nearly 40 points in an Iowa State University poll. You can sit there and have a good, um, a good slogan about something, about, about, a, about a wall on the southern border or about draining the swamp and all this, but if you don't do anything to actually do that, then what good is it? In Eldridge on Sunday, the governor touted his accomplishments in Florida. So every promise I made, I delivered on as governor. He believes his battles against the left in Florida provide him the necessary experience for the presidency, particularly when it comes to education. We do believe in parents' rights, and so they oppose us on all the stuff about curriculum, transparency, school choice, all that. Winning against unions and Democratic leaders in Florida, the governor says, will translate into wins for Republicans if he becomes president. School reopening, we beat the teachers union, we beat the teachers union on getting universal school choice enacted. Another key issue among Republicans is immigration and protecting the southern border. Well, very simply, uh, I will be the president that finally brings the issue of the border to a conclusion. Banning sanctuary cities and busing migrants to other cities is not the only plan in mind for the governor. We're going to treat the Mexican drug cartels like foreign terrorist organizations, uh, and I'm going to authorize the use of deadly military force to hold them accountable. The DeSantis campaign has a long road ahead if they hope to clinch the nomination. Nonetheless, the governor remains confident. We are going to win, and when we do, that is going to change this country for many, many years to come. And for members of the Scott County Republican Party I spoke to, they are maintaining their neutrality but did say DeSantis is growing stronger in his campaign in Iowa. Caucus goers will make their choice in 43 days on January 15th. Former president and party front runner Donald Trump is scheduled to be in Davenport Tuesday night for a town hall at the River Center. The event starts at 8 p.m. Vivek Ramaswamy will make multiple campaign stops in the TV6 area on Friday. And former ambassador Nikki Haley will be in Iowa next weekend, but is not currently scheduled to be in our area.